It's a very common stereotype at this point that the most hateful people are ultimately the ones that are in the closet themselves. They're really just ashamed of who they are. They're projecting, crying deep on the inside, begging that anyone will notice them while lashing out publicly. Unfortunately for anti-gay Senator Larry Craig, he was caught in a bathroom trying to, uh, trying to hang out platonically, keep in mind, with a member of the same sex. I was not involved in any inappropriate conduct at the Minneapolis airport because I am not gay. Me when I'm not gay? Me when I'm literally the least gay person in the world. I am not gay. I never have been gay because I am not gay. Unfortunately, the explanation of I am not gay didn't really save his political career. So today we're going to watch it fall apart. React to gay senator caught sleeping with 94 men. Is that real? How an anti-gay senator was caught sleeping with 94 men? Oh my God. I remember it like it was yesterday, one case. I was fresh on the forest with a thin mustache and a thinner wallet. But even back then, I had a sharp nose for hot leads. I was assigned to go undercover in the men's restroom at the Minneapolis airport. The rookies at airport security called me in. The professional did reports of certain men turning tricks with one another for catching my drift. There was a pervert out there, and it was my job to find him. After staking out the bathroom stall, I'd managed to get- <laughs> I love the Punisher shirt. That's so epic, dude. The thing is, the Punisher shirt used to be cringe, but I think it's coming back, bro. I think it's coming back. I think we're actually coming back. We need more Punisher shirts now, okay? It was cringe. Now it's based. Put a sticker like that on your truck, dude. You'll be f***ing swag, in my opinion. Hey, it's just what, I, just what I think. I mean, that's just what I think to each their own. But if you also, if you don't have a Punisher sticker on your truck, why even have it? Get my first bite, the United States Senator, Larry Craig. I could see a slender face <laughs> staring at me through the gap in the door. I was stunned to my core. For minutes, he would fidget with his hands and then pop back up to look through the crack with those piercing blue eyes. And in that moment, I couldn't help but wonder, wasn't Craig a Republican senator from- Just imagine you're trying to take a piss and a senator is staring at you. You're trying to take a piss and Mitch McConnell staring at you through the stall like, what's going on over here? Hey, what's going on in the in the stall? No, no, I'm not gay. Just checking to see if you're doing all right. Just checking to see if you feel good today. I think I would like that. I would like to have a senator check on me while I'm pissing. He could come in. He could, you know, rate my <laughs> He could tell me how good or bad it is. Tell me about the girth. Tell me the size of the, you know, the mushroom tip to shaft ratio, how good it is. I think that's a, that's a positive thing, frankly. From Idaho, didn't he sit on the board of the NRA? Was he about the tango with an undercover officer? Soon enough, I had my answer. Craig entered the stall next to me and placed his bag up against the front of the door. Interesting. For my time cleaning up these streets, he had done this to give himself a bit of extra privacy for what he was about to do next. As I waited, I could see- Dude, the slurping sounds. No. Dude, the slurping sounds are crazy. No. Craig shoes, his pants, and got a waft of his cheap CVS cologne. And then bingo. The pieces of the puzzle were falling into place. Foot tapping? That's the signal for men wanting to turn tricks in the bathroom. So- is that really? Is foot tapping the signal for wanting to have gay sex? If you ever tap your foot while you're shitting, does that actually mean that someone's trying to hook up with you? Is that what that means? 87th tribe just says yes. Well, you would know. Well, I mean, realistically, anytime I'm in the bathroom now and I hear someone tapping their foot, I'm going to head right over to their stall. I'm going to lock the door and head right in there, okay? If you do see a foot inching closer or doing that infamous, like, tapping, which for those of you who need a translation means I'm looking for or am ready to give a blowy. Looks like we hit a good lead today, Charlie. With every tap, he moved his foot closer to mine. Just like I'd learned at the academy, I moved my foot up and down slow, like a mating routine, and I was luring him in. I then caught a glimpse of his gold wedding band on his ring finger. You're telling me Craig's a married man? Trying to get some bathroom action in a downtown airport in Minneapolis? I immediately thought about his kids, his wife, his traditional family values. And by then, I had had it. So I showed Craig my police badge and pointed towards the exit. Craig responded, No! Without causing a scene, I threw on the cuffs and escorted Craig out of that bathroom. What a way to end the week. Craig kept asking me what was going to happen like a five-year-old boy whining to his mama about his missing Pokemon cards. <laughs> so I told him, you're under arrest. I brought Craig down to the station and told him to get cozy and hand me over. Arrested for being gay. Listen, guys, it's the 21st century, all right? And this is Donald Trump's America. And as we all know, Donald Trump is the progenitor of the LGBT Holocaust. If you are a gay man, your days are numbered, okay? If you're gay, your days are numbered, frankly. As a gay man, I'm terrified, okay? In Donald Trump's America, I'm terrified of what might happen to me. I feel like I'm about to die. My days are numbered here. So if you guys like me, you need to donate to me right now or else I'm going to be dead tomorrow thanks to Donald Trump. Let it be known. Let it be known. Hey there. Looks like you didn't heed my warning, did you, little guy? Apparently, my message was lost on all of you. I said never goon. 
not even once. Which is why I made this new swag t-shirt. See this t-shirt right here? We've got this beautiful runic writing. Ancient manuscripts to remind you of what you can never do. It's got this epic death metal font you can kind of read sometimes. And an extremely tasteful acid wash to make it look more vintage for all you vintage kids out there who can't stop thinking about vintage things. It's vintage. Buy it, it's vintage. But it's getting so gosh darn cold out here. I mean, how am I supposed to not go to keep warm? What am I gonna do? Oh, that's right. I made a pullover. I heard that you've been gooning. What did I tell you, you fool, you little gooner? The scarecrow beckons. It is said by the Ancient One that gooning brings on unforeseen Euclidean horrors. What does Euclidean mean? <laughs> I don't know. Euclidean is a word. Euclid. <gasps> SCP! It's also acid wash. We've got some uh, cool designs here on the on the sleeves, on the front, on the back. We've got some cool imagery, messaging. It's good merch. Okay, that's the point. It's good merch. It's high quality. I'm not even trying to talk it up too much here, but it is good merch. And if you like it, it's a great way to support the channel. And it's available only on turkeytom.shop for a limited time right now. And when it's gone, you won't be able to get it again. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for buying. If you don't buy it, thanks for watching. But buy it. And uh, don't goon or whatever, never goon, never goon, never goon, whatever you do. Buy my merch, and whatever you do, never goon. And this is not hysteria, this is not crazy, okay? No, 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 this is real. This is real, okay? He tweeted about it, I swear. I swear. It's happening soon. The LGBT genocide is coming, and we should be prepared. Especially, a lot of, a lot of senators and actors need to be scared, all right? We need to protect Hollywood. <laughs> Over his ID. Instead, with a shit-eating grin, he handed me his United States Senator business card and asked me, what did I think about that? I tossed this card to the ground and told him his money was no good here because no one plays me for a sucker and gets away with it. He then handed me his driver's license. Guess I'll be working late tonight. Now, after being arrested in a sting operation, fingerprinted, and even posed- Wait, this is real? They actually arrested him in a sting operation to find out if he was gay? What? I mean, it's not illegal to be gay. Is it because he was- it was like public indecency because he's doing it in a bathroom stall? Is that why? What's going on? Posing for mugshots with his American flag pin on his suit, Senator Larry Craig would quietly plead guilty to lewd and disorderly conduct. Dude, no! Your Honor, I plead guilty to having gay sex. That being said, let the jury know I am not a gay man. I do not like guys. I'm simply a man who likes having sex with other men. But I am not! I am not under any circumstances to be considered gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Free him? Yeah, dude, free him. This is, this is homophobia. This is clear homophobia, okay? This, this congressman, okay? He was just talking about the downsides to being gay. There's lots of upsides that he does in private, okay? That he engages in, and there are many benefits. Wes Watson can tell you all about that, okay? Just, you know, buy his course. He'll tell you about how being gay is cool. I'm not gay. I just prefer Ben. For some of that uh, same stall action, you know? You know what I mean? Now, he would admit to it. He signed the guilty plea on the dotted line, just like Willy Wonka, and then told nobody about it. Not his wife, not his kids, not even his constituents. Now, Senator Craig had gotten away with this. He had narrowly avoided a career-ending scandal. Or so we thought. Today, a Washington D- if you're, if you're gay, how do you have kids? Shouldn't you, like, not be able to get hard? Shouldn't you not- Well, I guess if you're a guy, I mean, look. I can't speak for all guys, but, you know, any sensation, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gay. I'm not I'm, me. Gay. Couldn't be the case. But what I wanted to happen? No. But if, you know, if I was like strapped to a table or something, there was some guy sucking me off. What I, you know, what am I going to say? It feels bad. The sensation is good. You know, I close my eyes, pretend it's a girl. I mean, guy. I mean, girl. Pretend it's a guy. I mean, I mean, pretend it's a girl with big double Ds. Then, you know, I might get turned on, but that doesn't mean I'm gay. It doesn't mean I'm gay, dude. There are people who are pressed until their 40s and 50s. I mean, that must be... There's there's multiple situations for a guy like this. If he's an openly anti-gay senator, then it could be that he maybe didn't know he was gay or didn't want to accept it when he was younger and only accepted it later on. But obviously, publicly, he can't say that because his entire thing is being anti-gay. Or or it's possible that he knew he was gay from the start and just wanted to grift off of the, the political clout you get off of being one of the few anti-gay people in Congress, right? That could be it. Most Republican senators are openly anti-gay. Are they? I don't think they are now. Maybe in like the early 2000s, late 90s, but I, you know, since then, a lot of things have changed. I feel like most of them don't even talk about gay marriage as an issue they, they're even concerned with whatsoever. DC political newspaper broke the story that Senator Craig was arrested in June. 
in a Minneapolis airport bathroom for lewd conduct. Roll Call magazine broke the story a month later about his arrest, and the truth would come out to set Larry Craig free. Because who really was Larry Craig, the Republican senator? Yeah, he was in that barbershop quartet called the Singing Senators, where he sang lead vocals with four other Republican senators. That's real. My heart's on fire. <laughs> He also sat on the- No one could have ever known, man. Literally, no one could have ever known. Imagine the people who are, like, you know, I mean, they're, they're Republican congressmen or they're religious people who are genuinely anti, you know, gay, anti-LGBT, and they see this guy, they see all these people who are, like, projecting about this shit, somebody who's a representative for their cause, just getting out of this being gay, and they're like, oh, fuck. Shit, God damn it! Another one! This reminds me of uh, an American beauty when the kid's dad hates him because he thinks he's gay, and then he walks over to Kevin Spacey's house. And Kevin Spacey's like, oh, I feel bad for you, man. I'll give you a hug. And then he just kisses him. And Kevin Spacey's like, oh, it's, it's just not like that, man. <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal. Singing isn't gay. But it is when I do it. Turkish Tom, why are you still streaming, you overworked Chinese youth? I'm punishing my mind and my body for the content. That's why. Streaming is harder than a nine to five, as we all know. On the board of the NRA. As many of you know, I have been a life member and on the national board of directors of the National Rifle Association since 1982. But the reality was that Craig was just a massive hypocrite. And we won't let the Venezuelas or the Nigerias or the Saudi Arabias or the Irans jerk us around by the gas nozzle. He had a long, by the gas extensive, nozzle. girthy, thick, wide history of voting for anti-gay policies. For example, he voted in the military's don't ask, don't tell policy, which don't ask me about it because I'm not going to tell you. Policy was criticized for forcing military personnel into secrecy and for falling short of total acceptance of their ability and right to serve in the military. He also voted to ban same-sex marriages, unions, and Wow. This part I think is messed up. He even voted yes on a bill that wouldn't allow hate crimes to cover sexual orientation. So that's crazy. It must just be some level of self-hatred, right? I mean, at this point, if he's this old and he's doing this, it must just be pure self-hatred, which a lot of a lot of gay people probably do face. Not that I would know anything about it, but they probably do face it, right? Because if you if you grow up in a community of people, you know, there are places in the South to this day that are not very supportive of being gay. And you're just told that it's wrong your entire life. You're going to be hateful of it. And the idea of even going against it just seems very, very bad. You feel like you're going to be ostracized from your community. And so as a result, what you end up doing is you end up completely fighting for the other side, fighting for the side that oppresses you. But eventually, as you get older, I mean, this guy's gay urges must have just been flying out of his fucking butt. I mean, mouth, I mean, face, I mean, eyes. And eventually, he's going to slip up. He's going to have sex in a public bathroom. He's going to give head in a public bathroom. Why is it that all the gay guys that get outed are always sucking? They're not getting sucked. Has anyone talked about that? Every gay guy that gets outed and is like a, an ardent homophobe, they're not getting sucked. They're not the alpha gay guy. They're the they're the Zeta gay guy. What's up with that? Gay Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Being caught with your pants down, cruising for men in an airport bathroom. Cruising is what two men do in a public place to initiate sex. It's completely anonymous. Rarely would a name be changed. While you advocate for traditional family values, it was a bit awkward for him. So left with no options, Larry Craig would come out. And deny everything with his wife at his side, mind you. Oh my Craig would God. open up his public denial with no Freudian slip by saying, thank you for coming out today. Imagine being his wife. Because she knows. She knows, dude. She 1,000% knows. So what do you do in that situation? Do you divorce him? Do you refuse to divorce him because of the embarrassment you would face otherwise? That wife ain't getting any. I mean, she might be getting something from someone else, but it's not from him. It's not from Larry Craig for sure. Did rip my boy. He didn't even do anything wrong, all right? Just because you're gay doesn't mean you support gay marriage or you have to, okay? You can think that they... He's not even a hypocrite. Leave him alone. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's actually a good guy. He could just be a freaky bi. <laughs> That's a good point. All criticism against Larry Craig is now gone and destroyed. Dr. Disrespect did the same thing, worked for him. Well, in a way, I'm curious if Larry Craig still had a congressional career after this. It's possible. It's possible he was fine. Thank you all very much uh, for coming out today. Which I think is funny. Maybe you don't, maybe I do. I don't know. I did nothing wrong and I regret the decision to plead guilty. And I was not involved in any inappropriate conduct. <laughs> Her face, yeah! I am not gay. I never have been gay. Because I am not gay. 
Me when I'm not gay? Me when I'm literally the least gay person in the world. I am not gay. I never have been gay because I am not gay. Guys, I think he's gay. Dude, you're a liar. Well, how did the chair go back that far? What the? Am my legs that strong? Wow, I'm just getting so jacked. Yeah, Tom, get on your knees. Hey, there's nothing weird, dude. Hey, hey, that's homophobic. As a gay man, you don't know if I like getting on my knees, all right? Maybe I like having the guy on his knees. Or I'm not gay. I'm not, I swear. <laughs> I love my wife. My fa I'm not gay. I love my wife. So the Minneapolis police, they weren't too happy about Craig's public denial because this would contradict that plea agreement he had signed when he got arrested, which that document states, the court will not accept the plea from anyone who believes they're innocent. So to counter Craig's denial and set the story straight, the police interrogation recording was released to the public. And, um, it's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Okay. You do anything with your feet? Position them? I don't know. I don't know at the time. I'm Wait, what did he say? Did you do anything with your feet? Public. And, um, it's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Did you do anything with your feet? Position them? I don't know. I don't know at the time. I'm a fairly wide guy. I, <coughs> I understand. I, can, I tend to spread my legs okay. when I lower my pants so they won't slide. I had to spread my legs when I lowered my pants so they won't slide. Are you afraid you're going to fall into the toilet? Is that the concern? What does that even mean? You're definitely spreading your legs in certain ways. I could agree with that. You're probably doing the splits on it. Okay. Did I slide them too close to yours? Did I, I look down once your foot was close to mine? Yes. Did we bump? Uh, you said so. I don't recall that, but apparently we were close. Well, your foot did touch mine on my side of the stall. All right. Now, Craig claimed that his foot came in the contact or me have made contact with this undercover officer because he was a quote unquote, pretty wide guy. A comment that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Wait, so I'm kind of confused. I thought he literally was caught sucking on it. Did he just touch the other guy's foot? If he just touched his foot, I guess we don't totally know. Although he did confess to being gay in a court of law, but <laughs> I don't know. What's up with the four chairs? Do you know that's a secret signal that you want to have relations with men? Yeah, that's why I'm getting four more. So I get twice the men. He didn't go to suck. I thought he was literally caught sucking. So he was just signaling. He could have been, he could have been touching the guy's foot for literally any reason. There are so many different reasons. He could have just been touching his foot because he wants to hang out. He wants to play Nintendo together. It could be anything. As Larry Wide Stance Craig. Now maybe you're thinking to yourself, maybe he did have a wide stance. He was a big guy. Maybe this cop who arrested him was out to make a quota. Maybe you believe Larry Craig is innocent. What if I told you that this wasn't the first time Craig was caught in a uh, sticky situation? Craig has been to Nine, he's been gay since 1982. 1982. Two 17 year old boys from the Congressional Pages program, it's like an interim program for high school kids. No! Allegations of sexual abuse from the older members of Congress with the younger interns. Now, the FBI would step in to investigate these. 17, bro? 17? Come on, Larry. I was trying to make the whole video a fucking meme, bro. I was trying to make, I was trying to make this video a meme. I was trying to have fun. You just had to go. Well, I guess we don't know. It's an allegation. We'll keep watching. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe they're, maybe they're false accusers, okay? Serious claims, and they speculated that it involved up to 15 members of Congress. If you could put a number on the number of congressional employees that you may have direct knowledge of involvement in illicit activity, how many would that be? Direct knowledge, 15 to 20. Though these people were not named publicly. So here's a little tip. Generally, it's best to avoid making public denials about accusations, especially when the person that they are accusing is unnamed. But apparently- Yes, true. And also, generally, even in the public eye, even if the person's unnamed, if the allegation is false and it doesn't get a ton of attention, sometimes it's good to just not say anything. Now, there are cases where someone's guilty and won't say anything. Being silent doesn't necessarily mean that they're guilty, for sure. But sometimes, sometimes they just have no response, so there's nothing they can possibly say because they did do it. So it's just like, all right, we just got to shut our fucking mouths on this one, guys. Shout out Cody Co. Apparently, Larry Craig never got that message because he was the only congressman to issue a public denial. Persons who are unmarried, as I am, uh, by choice or by circumstance, have always been the subject of innuendos, gossip, and false accusations. No one asked, bro. No, no one even asked. No one asked you to say this. Did his boyfriend make him say this? <laughs> Why? Why? You didn't have to do it. 
Literally nobody is accusing him of anything. I am not gay. I could never be gay. I will never be gay. There's no, there's literally no way. There's no way. Me? Gay? Um, we didn't even call you gay. I know, but I'm just not. I'm just not. Now, there was only one problem. Those two boys whose tales of sexual abuse set off FBI investigations and Senate Ethic Committee hearings a year later had admitted to making up the entire story. An FBI spokesman said today that so far the Bureau has not... What? It was a false allegation? Were they just trying to bait him to... What? When you're a closeted homophobe and they find out you're gay in a sting operation, but you're just a chill guy that Loki doesn't give a fuck? True. So it was a false allegation, but they baited him into defending himself from being gay? Not been able to corroborate charges that congressional pages have been pressured into sexual activity with members of Congress. And the spokesman said it's not a widespread organized problem. So Craig had denied something that no one had even accused him of that didn't even happen at all. Oh my God. Okay, now this clip is funny. In the 1990s, Bill Clinton was getting berated for the Monica Lewinsky scandal. So Larry Craig would go on air and say this about President Clinton. Bad boy, Bill Clinton. You're a naughty boy. Naughty boy? Naughty boy? Obviously, I think, you know, Bill Clinton getting sucked off in the presidential office by Monica Lewinsky. Pretty unpresidential, but he just wanted head. He just wanted a little head. Did he have a wife? I mean, sure, but like, you know. Sometimes, you know, you're in the White House all day. It's a stressful job. You need to relax a little bit. You just got to come. Bill can't beat the naughty boy allegations. That's very true. I wonder who sucked off Joe Biden. It certainly wasn't me. What are interns for? That is crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is the worst part of it, that she was an underling, but still. The American people already know that Bill Clinton is a bad boy, a naughty boy. Sounds to me like someone... Is he trying to signal to him that he wants to have sex with him? Is that what's going on? Is he trying to covertly signal to Bill Clinton on the news that he wants to have a romantic rendezvous behind the White House? And likes to be called a naughty boy. But here's one of the craziest parts. So one month before he was arrested in that bathroom for cruising for men, the Idaho Statesman newspaper, the state that he was a senator of, was doing a five-month investigation into over 300 accusations of Larry Craig having liaisons with other men. Some is going far back as 1967. But it gets even crazier. They'd even interviewed Larry Craig Craig and his wife about all of these allegations three weeks before he was arrested. <laughs> oh my god, his wife. I feel bad for his wife. Now, one of the most credible accusations was a donor who had close ties to the Republican Party, and he said that he had witnessed Larry Craig with multiple unnamed men doing things I can't say here at the Union Station men's bathroom. Why is it always in a men's bathroom? If you're a senator, why would you be doing this in a public place? I feel like the assumption of privacy is completely gone in a public stall. Of all places you could have a romantic rendezvous, okay, to slob on some knob, and you're trying to hide it, why do it in a public bathroom? Can anyone in chat answer me why you're doing this in a public bathroom? What's going on here? Now, I actually managed to find this article about Larry Craig from ABC News from 2007, so kind of dated. Senator Larry Craig may be in denial, psychologists say. So this is from the time that this happened. Idaho Senator Larry Craig says he's not gay and never has been gay, but psychologists told ABC News that he's likely in denial about his sexuality. After reports of Craig's arrest for alleged lewd conduct in a men's bathroom at a Minneapolis airport, I forgot it was in an airport. In an airport. He's joining the Mile High Club, basically. Because two dudes walking into a bathroom together is less suspicious than a hotel or their house. I mean, that's true, but can't anyone just come into the bathroom and hear the sucking happening at any point in time? Like, wouldn't it be better to, hypothetically speaking, not that I've ever done this, but... If you're going to do this, wouldn't it be better to just, like, get a car, get your car, drive to a hotel room, wait, like, an hour, and then let the other gay guy come there, and then you just leave separately? Wouldn't that make more sense? Like, you're doing it in public. Obviously, it's going to happen. He wants them to hear it. Baruka, chill. Chill, chill. The kink of getting caught. Oh, yeah, that could be part of it. He might like it. The fact that he talks about it publicly and says, I am not gay, I am not gay, I swear I'm not gay, makes me think maybe it is a thing for him. The police report said that Craig had tapped his foot in the bathroom stall and rubbed his foot against the officers. Actions known by authorities as signals for soliciting sex. Court documents show that Craig pled guilty to engaging in physical conduct that tended to arouse alarm. Even so, Craig apologized not for the lewd conduct, but instead for pleading guilty in the first place. 
The senator blamed the local newspaper's relentless reporting for his mistake in pleading guilty. But like many political commentators, psychologists who listen to Craig's speech aren't buying his story. He may have had some internal conflict even if he never acted out sexually, said Dory Lynn, a psychologist in the Washington, D.C. area. If the allegations aren't true, he would have just looked at the reports and said, don't be silly and leave me alone. But instead, he did admit it, and now he's saying he didn't really do it, and someone made him do it. Craig's denial, Lynn said, would be typical of someone who's hiding something, and in the senator's case, is desperate to salvage his career. This would be the normal reaction of someone who's emotionally immature, like a teenage boy who's gotten his hand caught in the cookie jar, and then says, no, it's not me, said Lynn. It would also be a reaction in a society where one feels so much shame and guilt that they think their sexual orientation would destroy them and be unacceptable. He just didn't want to shit alone? Dude, true. True, bro. He just, he, you know, he wanted to do a little bit of a group poop. You guys ever do that in high school? You know, you and your friends want to take a little break from class? All four of you go to the bathroom and sit in stalls next to each other while having a, having a little podcast, basically. I feel like a group poop podcast would be great. I would listen to that. Which, if you... Just hear the, just hear the, hear the plopping while you're having a chat. <laughs> hear the plopping. You didn't know is quite the hot spot for cruising. And also, if you didn't know, Union Station is a few blocks away from the Senate. Now, of course, when asked about this, Craig would just openly deny it. He said, I am not gay. I have never been in a restroom in Union Station having sex with anybody. I am not gay, and I never have been. Now, another man said that Craig had cruised him at an REI store in Boise, Idaho in 1994. Craig responded to this allegation, saying, I've been in this business 27 years in the public eye. I don't go around hitting on men, and by golly, if I did, I wouldn't do it in Boise, Idaho. Out of all the things... He <laughs> Dude, if I did do it, I wouldn't do it there. Just say it's not true. Just say it's not true. That's it. But he, he's so insecure about the idea. He's so obviously having this crazy internal conflict over this. He's li literally the definition of cope. Poop Tua. <laughs> I should not be laughing at that. That's not funny. Thank you for the dono, though, Swift Killer. Yeah, I have class. If I'm not gay, but if I was, I wouldn't do it in Boise, Idaho. I'd do it where the hot boys are in Miami. You could say, why would you say that? I wouldn't do it in Boise, Idaho. Okay, dude. So with Larry White stance Craig gaining national and even worldwide attention, he was just the laughing stock of the town in 2007. Late night comedians are ripping him apart. So, sir, are you really, you really are serious about keeping your seat in the Senate? Oh, absolutely. I still feel that I can be of service to the men and men of Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Conan is good. Conan's actually funny. One of the few late night hosts where whenever I see a clip of him, it's usually pretty good. If you're interested in applying for an intern position with Senator Larry Craig, here is the official application announcement. Be proficient in Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. Have a distinguished brow, firm set jaw, strong but knowing hands. I think it should be called My Wide Stance. My Wide Stance. And even Hassan's uncle, Cenk Uger, of no! the Yorks, ripped Larry Craig apart. Now Larry Craig says... Bro, what a dark position to be in. When you're caught being gay to the point that Cenk Uger of the Young Turks is talking about you, that would be very dark, man. I would not enjoy that. Most straight men say they aren't gay, right? Yeah, good cover. That's true. Most straight men, implicitly by saying they are straight, are saying that they're not gay. So I think there's uh, there's a very high likelihood here. Hassan is in everything. I mean, it's not that he's in everything, but it's just kind of a small world, you know? With the, with, in the media atmosphere, it is kind of a small world. It's not gay if you say no homo. True. I wish that Larry Craig had gotten up there on the podium and been like, I am not gay. I did attempt to have sex with that man. I did rub his feet under the stall and signal to him to have gay sex, but... I also said no homo, which the police officer mysteriously left out of his report. The media sphere is incestuous. Everyone's related to someone. In the mainstream media, yeah, for sure. In like new alt media, whatever you want to call it, like YouTubers, there's just too many of them. But in like the legacy media, for sure. Although Young Turks is kind of not exactly included in that. Like they are alternative media. They're like the left wing info wars, I guess you would probably call them. Somewhere in that vein. Just got back from my lunch break. What happened? Oh, buddy. <laughs> We found out about what you did in 1982 in the bathroom stall. Some would say straight men say they are gay. Some would say that. And some people would use being gay ironically as a way to explain a way that they uh, are actually straight. Some people would, would use gay jokes to hide as a cover. I don't know who that would be, though. Chank was young here. Yeah, he was probably as old as Hassan is now. Because this is 2007. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. The playing the footsies? I just have a wide stance in the bathroom. Wide stance Larry Craig. He was wide stance Larry. And all of this scandal really came at a bad time for Larry Craig because he was up for re-election soon. 
So when you're getting hit from the left for being a hypocrite, you're getting hit from the right for not living his true traditional family values. I mean, Mitch McConnell even called his acts unforgivable. Imagine Mitch McConnell calling you unforgivable. It's gonna hurt <laughs> really bad. So on September 1st, Craig would announce to the public that he was gonna resign from the Senate a month no! later on September 30th. You know, with sadness and regret and no. forgiveness the American people. And everyone was clapping. Everyone's like, cool. He could have won, man. I would have voted for him. I would have voted for him. Literally, I don't even care, dude. I'm homophobic and I would vote for him every day. I would vote for him. I'd be like, hey, he's speaking my truth. Who cares if he sucks a little on the side like me? That's fine. That's cool. There's a guy in my class who spent 15 minutes complaining about his coworker because he was gay. Very uncalled for. Feels like he might be closeted. Yeah, I mean, with a lot of people who, you know, it is kind of a stereotype, but there is some truth to it. It doesn't just even apply to this, but a lot of people who rail and rail constantly and like won't shut the fuck up about one topic and how much they hate those people a lot of the time some level of it is projection because it's funny to laugh at shit like this but if you're getting genuinely mad about the fact that a gay guy exists it's very possible that it's some kind of inner self-hatred that's being projected online well you're gonna resign but our story isn't over because just three days later Craig had a change of heart. He actually withdrew his resignation yes! and pledged to the American people yeah! that if he could get his conviction overturned, he wouldn't resign. I mean, this guy had no shame. Bring him so back. He made this pledge to the American people. He had an army of attorneys file the motion to withdraw that guilty plea that he had signed, which also, mind you, it is near impossible to get a guilty plea overturned in the United States. Idaho Senator Larry Craig looking to reverse his guilty plea in an airport bathroom sex sting. Craig wants his sexting guilty plea thrown out. He'd promised to step down. Now he's reversing course. Senator Craig is refusing to step down. Look at the mainstream media lying about him, lying about a based American patriot, all right? He was just playing footsie. We've all played footsie from time to time, and all of these libtards, these people who claim to be pro-gay, are trying to embarrass him publicly for playing a game of footsie. It's disgusting, dude. It's disgusting, and frankly, this is part of the reason they fell off, okay? Because back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, they shit on Larry Craig. So now they get what they deserve. Finally, Senator Craig is only guilty of wanting to have a bathroom friend to have a chat with. He was just trying to start a podcast before podcasting was a real thing before anybody cared. He was trying to start a big podcast and everybody's shitting on him for it. Thanks for the dono GT. He's ch changed his mind about stepping down. But with a team of $500 an hour attorneys and the senator's political pull, for sure, they can get this guilty plea overturned. I mean, that's what America's all about, baby. Get this thing overturned. Idaho Senator Larry Craig has lost his latest attempt to withdraw no! his guilty plea following a men's no! room at the Minneapolis airport. The guilty plea was still upheld. After spending $213,000 on attorneys and PR oh people my God. within a month, he was still guilty of lewd conduct in that airport bathroom. I mean, the courts are so corrupt, bro. The courts are fucked up. Okay. OJ is free. Michael Jackson was never prosecuted. And God damn it, Larry Craig, the one guy who did nothing wrong, is guilty of being gay in a court of law. That is disgusting, okay? And they not only that, they stole $213,000 from him. We got to have a conversation, man. We got to have a serious conversation. Isn't OJ dead? I don't think so. He was on the Nelk Boys podcast not that long ago. Yeah, he's still alive. He was posting on Twitter for a while. It was pretty funny. They asked him about it on uh, OJ Simpson Nelk Boys. They asked him about it, and the conversation was very, very, very awkward. How much would it take to fight Hassan? Dude, he would fucking destroy me. Until I hit the bike pump and inflate to the size of a balloon and explode. No, I was gonna say- Is he dead? Oh, he did die? When did he die? Oh, he died in April. I didn't even know that. I forgot that. What? What the f- I, I- He had cancer? Damn, free my boy. I didn't even know that he died, honestly. Very, very awkward conversation. Well, rest in peace to the goat. Rip Bozo? That's not very nice. He had poor mental health. Now, Larry Craig said he was a man of his word, traditional values, that he was going to resign for the good of the people if he didn't get this conviction overturned. So would he resign from the Senate? Of course not. He would serve out the rest of his 15 months left in his term and retired on January 3rd, 2009. Thank you very much. And so Senator Larry Craig goes down. But Craig's comedy of errors doesn't end there. Seven investigates found the former congressman was still spending campaign cash after his public service had ended. Because a couple of years later, Craig was investigated and sued 
from the Federal Election Commission for illegally using campaign funds to pay for his $213,000 attorney bill that couldn't even fight off his guilty plea and was told he had to pay it back because it was. That's a lie. That's slander. Once again, even Vince Vintage, usually this guy makes good videos. He's just coming after Larry Craig. He's just being a hater, dude. He didn't do anything wrong. He's a good guy. It's an ethics thing, which is one of the rare cases I've seen where someone actually gets penalized for some missing campaign money. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's Craig up to these days? He just couldn't leave Washington. He loved it too much. So today, he is a lobbyist for the lumber industry, where he advocates for the destruction of forests and Mr. Beast. Yes! All across the yes! United States. And it's really the perfect... Everybody talks about how we need to do something about Mr. Beast. Who's actually doing it? Larry Craig, the man that was slandered by the mainstream media as a gay man. Big job for any disgraced politician. Now, this story is ironic. The whole time he was copping a feel, he was actually feeling a cop. But in all seriousness, let's talk about the one lesson to take away. Whether you think he's guilty or not, talk to a lawyer. Never sign a talk to a guilty plea without talking to an attorney. He should have never signed that. That is the most confusing thing. Like, the investigation hadn't even really concluded, and he already pled guilty. He's literally a member of government. How would he not know? I feel like everybody should just have a tattoo on them that says, don't talk to the cops. They should have a tattoo on their forehead that says lawyer and tattoo the lawyer's phone number on their ass. It's not going to help you, bro. Why would you confess even before the investigation concludes? Now, I'm not making fun of Craig for being gay or closeted or maybe he's bisexual. It's more of a hypocrisy of his morals. And I found this quote from an openly gay member of Congress that sums up Craig's situation nicely. You have a right to privacy, but not hypocrisy. During the period that I was closeted for seven years, I was always a gay rights supporter. It's a violation of principles to vote one way and act another. Now, before you leave, if you want to support me and get more content like this, go to my Patreon. It is true. Do that if you like the video. Vince Vintage is a great creator. Honestly, man, you know, all jokes aside, um... I am gay, but really all jokes aside, I do, you know, I think it's funny to shit on this guy for hypocrisy, but ultimately also this guy is almost a product of his environment in a way, you know, he, he comes from a, he comes from a place where, you know, maybe there's a lot of homophobia in Idaho where he grew up, maybe he's ashamed of it. And, you know, obviously him voting in the, in, in the opposite of his actual personal life is, is pretty cringe and he probably hurt people by doing that. But at the same time, you know, it's tragic that he just felt like he couldn't be himself. Poor guy, poor fella, dude. I feel bad for him. All right. Support Larry Craig. Sexuality is meaningless. We're just attracted to the people we're attracted to. Um, no, it's definitely not. <laughs> Maybe you feel, I mean, it's fine if you feel that way, but that might speak more about you than sexuality than anything. All right, chat. Damn. Damn.